New Bradford City Fire Claims Nonsense Says ex-judge the judge who led the inquiry into the Bradford City Football Stadium fire has said claims it may have been started deliberately are nonsense. The new book claims the 1985 blaze was just one of at least nine fires at businesses owned or associated with the then-chairman Stafford Hedge and Bottom. Sir Oliver Popplewell has stood by his verdict. The fire, which killed 56 people, was an accident. He said police should look at the other fires to see if they were sinister. The book's author Martin Fletcher lost three generations of his family in the fire. Mr. Fletcher, who was 12 at the time of the blaze, escaped unharmed from the stand at Valley Parade, but his father, uncle, grandfather and younger brother all died. He claims to have uncovered evidence Mr. Hegen Bottam was in dire financial trouble at the time. Speaking to BBC Radio Leeds, Sir Oliver said, I'm sorry to spoil what is obviously a very good story. I'm afraid is nonsense for many reasons. The retired judge said the main flaw in the argument that the fire was arson was the stand involved had no insurance value because it was due for demolition. He said the fire was examined by experienced and thorough investigators who found nothing suspicious. And he said no question of arson was ever raised in civil legal proceedings. The Popplewell inquiry, held three weeks after the disaster ruled the fire was started by a spectator dropping a cigarette which ignited into rubbish that had accumulated under an old timber stand. Mr. Fletcher, whose book is being serialized by The Guardian, said the inquiry did not look at the finances of Mr. Hegen Bottam, who died in 1995. The book does not make any direct allegations but Mr. Fletcher says the chairman's history with fires, which he claims resulted in payouts totaling about pounds 27m in today's terms warranted further investigation. Sir Oliver said although he cowled, 